Okay, this is again a hard trinomial. I know it's a hard trinomial because 3 goes into here, but it doesn't go into there, and it doesn't go into there. So to factor a hard trinomial, no matter which system I'm doing, I must multiply the first term times the last, the 3 times the 8. And I know that gives me 24. So 3 times 8 is 24. Now what I'm going to do is work with the 24, and I'm going to try and think of something that multiplies to make 24, and does that to make 10. So they must multiply to make 24, and subtract to make 10. So it's 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. And these are the two numbers that subtract to make 10. So they are going to be the two numbers involved with my answer. Now because it's a negative sign, in order to get 10, it must have come from opposite signs. Okay, So there's my 2 and there's my 12. It must have come from a 2p and a 12p, but the prize goes to the biggest number, so the plus must go with the 2 and the minus with the 12. Sure enough, 2p minus 12p is 10p. I'll put arrows on the other end here. I always check at this time that these two guys actually go together to make 10p. Okay, now I bring this baby down. That's 3p squared. Bring the last term down, minus 8. So now I have my four terms. I bring the minus sign down, and I'm going to factor both sides. Now in this case, the only thing that goes into both of those is the letter P. So if I factor out a P, you can see I'm left with a 3P plus a 2. Here, on this side, you can see that 4 goes into both, 12 and 8, uh, but no P, it's just 4. Okay, So what I'm left with is a 3P from here and a 2 from here. Now here's something you have to watch for. Whenever you factor a negative sign out in front of a bracket, this sign will change. And it made sense. Negative eight, uh, sorry, negative four divided into negative eight goes positive two. On top of that, you want to make sure you end up with identical brackets. And I do have identical brackets now. So the identical brackets is one bracket of my answer. The other bracket of my answer is whatever I didn't underline. It's there in black. So from the first term it's a p, and from the next term it's a minus 4. And there is my hard trinomial factored really nicely. Okay, now if by any chance you decided on your hard trinomial, let's take this and let's say you wrote those numbers down the other way. You put the minus 12p first and then the plus 2p. Okay, all that happens is when you factor here, you will have 3p goes into both, and you're left with p minus 4. And here, you're left with 2 into p minus 4. A plus sign, you do not change that. You can see the identical bracket there is p minus 4, and whatever I didn't underline, 3p plus 2, goes in the other bracket. So in fact, I do get the same answer. The only thing is, I get the, uh, the brackets in the other order. And that's quite all, all right. As long as the 4 is with the minus sign, and the 3p is with the plus 2 sign, you, it, it happens in both, you're going to get the correct answer. So it doesn't matter how you break this middle term up. But what you do have to watch for is if it's a minus here, this sign is going to switch right there. It's going to switch from minus 8 uh, to a plus sign if you factor a negative sign out in front of a bracket. And that's the only thing that you have to worry about on decomposition that might give you any sort of a little problem.